Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do an updated, like a wear and tear of the, oh my gosh, I probably should have looked up the name of this before I started talking. I'll put it across the screen here. It's a coin holder. Uh, let me take my stuff out because of course I'm not prepared. I'm a terrible YouTuber. It's okay. It's okay to not be perfect at everything. Ooh, a piece of a dollar is ripped off. That's not good. I wanted to give my thoughts on this card holder because uh, I have had it for a year. I want to say a year I've had this. And has it been a year? I don't think it's been a full year, but I've had this almost a year. And yeah, because I got it at the very beginning of summer. Yeah, last year. So I'm going to call it a year because I don't remember the exact date that I got this. But I love the piece, but it wore very quickly, very quickly. The first thing that started wearing was the glazing. So I don't know how well that's going to focus, but that corner wear right there happened, no lie, within the first month. Okay, that wear, ridiculous. I was irritated, but... It was like whatever and now that it's a year in <clears throat> it's even worse the fact that i could see the orange past the blazing is a little bit annoying but i guess it's not t too terrible because it hasn't completely peeled the glazing hasn't completely come off but that was the first thing that started happening <clears throat> immediately after that the pockets have warped significantly see that this is completely raised you can see how bulged out the pockets are. And I only put one card in each slot. The only one that I double up on is this one because this one houses my driver's license and my insurance card and a $2 bill. Because if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I keep a $2 bill in every wallet that I have. So this is the only pocket that has more than one card in it at a time. But this is also the biggest pocket. so figured that was okay but it has it has warped it has bulged out significantly same thing with the back pocket it was nice and flush in the beginning but it's significantly bulged out um, the inside is perfectly fine except on the side here you could see the pocket kind of indented there but I guess that's okay because you don't really you don't really look at the inside of your wallet like that. So it's okay for, the, for it to be worn on the inside a little bit. And that's it. I mean, the zipper is still like butter. Louis Vuitton is well known for its buttery zippers. Never had a problem. The zipper pull is actually in very good shape. Very good shape. Not even really scratched up at all it's it's actually quite impressive that it's it's held on so long because i i used it non-stop for months and then i put it away for a few months and then i used it started using it again non-stop for months and i don't just use this in my purses i throw this in my back pocket a lot so the wear and tear on the glazing it's probably a product of that throwing it in and out of my pocket uh, but yeah, so if you are not into warped pockets like that, see how it's bulged out there. If you're not into that, do not get this card case because you will be disappointed. It's, it happens almost immediately, the warping. Um, but if you don't mind that, it's cool. It's really cool. It's very big. It fits one, two, three cards plus ID and whatever has a back pocket. You, I usually slip my business card in here and my business receipts just to keep it away from other stuff. And then in here I keep my cash and spare cards or whatever. So size wise, it holds everything that you're going to need and then some. So it is really good for that. So it, I guess it all depends on what you like. Oh, and the stitching is extraordinarily dirty. So 
Uh, I don't think you can really see that, but the stitching does not stay cute. So if that bothers you, it's probably you should probably get like the, um, I think it's the graffiti version of this with a reverse man monogram and like that the gray. I, I don't remember the names of things. I'm definitely not into luxury like I was before, guys. I'm really sorry if that's why you started following me because I definitely fell off. But I did want to do an update on this. I've been meaning to do it. Uh, so there it is. I mean, it. I recommend it if you're looking for a good size wallet that is compact. It definitely fits the bill. Um, I thought about selling it, but it has so much wear and tear on it that I don't I don't know, I think I'm, I'm just going to keep it, but who knows? If you're interested in this, uh, definitely hit me up, let me know, um, email me, and, um, you know, we'll go from there. But otherwise, that's it, guys. Just a really quick little wear and tear. Hope you enjoyed, uh, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!